this is Kenny from Resum Power. Nowadays, the lithium and phosphate batteries are used in various applications. So today we will talk about one main topic which may interest to all. That is what kind of factors will affect the battery life and how to prolong the lithium and phosphate battery life. Lithium battery has many advantages such as the fast charging, high current charge, high temperature resistance, and the long life, etc. The life of the lithium batteries is one of the most concerned property. The factors affecting the life of the lithium batteries can be summarized in two parts. One is the design and the production control of the battery itself. Another is the use environment. We will mainly introduce the use environment, such as the working temperature environment of the batteries, the working current of the battery system, and the required depth of the discharge, etc. The influence of the working temperature on the life of the lithium batteries is mainly reflected in the influence of the viscosity of the electrolyte iron migration rate and side reactions on the microscopic level. Theoretically speaking, the viscosity of electrolyte and the speed of the iron migration will improve the performance of the lithium batteries as the temperature increases, but the excessive temperature will lead to aggravation of the side reactions in the battery, which is not conductive to the long-term use of the battery. The lower the temperature, the slower the iron migration rate, the more polarized the batteries, the more degraded the performance of the batteries. At the same time, charging at too low temperature can easily lead to the lithium painting, which can affect the safety of the battery and cause the great damage to the batteries, so need to avoid the low temperature charging. The following data are used to illustrate. For example, a certain type of the lithium and phosphate batteries is charged and discharged at 25 degrees and 45 degrees. The retention rate of the capacities will be different after 1000 cycles. Since the ambient temperature is one of the factors, so the battery system should be installed indoor as much as possible. We also can equip with the air conditioner or the constant temperature cabinets according to the ambient temperature in different regions so as to keep the lithium batteries in a certain temperature. Normally, we recommend 20 to 25 degrees. Another factor is that obviously the charge and discharge current can also affect the life of the batteries. In the earlier videos, we have introduced it in details, you can refer to it. So let's talk about another main factor to affect the battery life, that is the depth of charge and discharge. The rechargeable ties are related to the depth of discharge, that is, the deeper the battery discharge, the less rechargeable ties. The rechargeable ties multiply the discharge depth equal to the total number of the complete charge cycle. The higher the total number of the complete charge cycle, the longer life of the batteries. That is, the rechargeable cycles multiply the discharge depth equal to the extra battery life. Among them, the impact of depth of discharge is greater than the depth of charge. The first reason is that the cycle life increases sharply with the decrease of the depth of discharge. From the curve table, you can see the cycle life ties of different depth of discharge are compared. The second reason is that when the battery provides a certain number of current to any electrical appliance, the internal resistance increases while the battery capacity decreases. When the depth of discharge is large, the internal resistance increases while the current is constant and the battery needs to provide more power and is wasted as heat. The third reason is that original relatively stable discharge curve of the battery will change sharply while the depth of discharge is large. Therefore, limiting the depth of discharge to a relatively flat range can enable consumers to have a better control over the power. You also can get a better user experience and a better battery life. Therefore, while we have the lithium battery system, we also want to obtain the maximum benefit that is to extend the life of the battery as much as possible so as to maximize its value. Here are some tips we can suggest to prolong the battery life. Under the conditions of satisfying the application's working conditions, we can reduce the current rate of the charge and discharge as much as possible. For example, a 48 volt 100 ampere hour battery, even if it has a 100 ampere BNS, enable 1C charge and discharge rate. But if you can, just use a 0.2 to 0.5C. 
At high current, the extraction and intercalation of the lithium ion from one electrode to another is too strong and inefficient, which damages the elasticity of the electrode. A high current will increase the internal resistance of the battery. The battery has to work harder to deliver the high current and use more power to maintain the same voltage level, therefore aging faster. Pay attention to the high temperatures. If it's in a relatively high temperature environment, as earlier mentioned, we can configure it with the air conditioner and install indoor or other ventilation system that effectively dissipate heat. If it's in a low temperature environment, we also recommend the customer to use the battery with the heat function, that is, the battery has the heat fuel, which can rise the ambient temperature to the normal temperature before working the batteries. It can be charged and discharged as shallowly as possible, that is, the depth of charge and discharge is reduced. Fully charged, the resulting high current increases the capacity of the batteries, but put the stress on the electrode, which stress Thicken expanding cell to allow all ions to penetrate. Conveniently, while the battery is fully discharged, 2.7 volt per cell, a chemical reaction occurs inside, making the electro oxidize, strength change, and the battery aging faster. The lithium batteries has no memory effect, so even if you have not charged the battery to 100%, it has no effect. In the long run, if you can charge the battery to 95% SOC, it can prolong the battery life. Of course, if your system needs a relatively larger battery capacity discharge, you also can possible to reduce the depth of discharge by expanding the battery capacity. Cycling the batteries when unbalanced will exacerbate the difference and cause a loss of voltage, but it's not necessarily realistic to cycle a battery along periodically to maintain the balance. It's recommended that Periodical balance can be done by a fully charged and discharged arrow current. Conclude is that if you have a lithium ion phosphate battery system, there are many ways you can keep the battery to using very well for many years without replacing another battery. Except about methods, there are also many others. Welcome to contact us and exchange your ideas. See you next time. Bye.